hello guys welcome back to the channel hope you all are doing good so today's video topic is how to connect your google sites to a custom domain so this is a website which i created in google sites and in this video i will connect this google sites to my custom domain i already purchased a custom domain from godaddy so this is a domain name custom domain name healthyandcaring.com so i will use this domain name and you can use the same method if you are using another domain service provider so you can use the same method now move on to the topic so this is a website which i created in google sites first uh, i will show you the free domain i am using uh, the free domain is provided by google sites as you can see this is the url so i will show you the url so this is the website interface right now and this is the free domain by google sites now i will show you all the steps uh, how to connect your google sites with a custom domain so let's start first click on this settings icon now here on the left side you will see the option of custom domains click on it now on the right side click on this option start setup now enter your domain name so i will copy my domain name from here and i will paste it here okay so enter your domain name like this and you will see a red line this domain name is not verified please verify your ownership so click on this option to verify your ownership now you will see this kind of window google search console one important thing make sure you are logged in with the same gmail id in google search console and in google sites so make sure the gmail id is same in both google console and this google sites now after that enter your domain name okay i already entered the domain name www.healthyandcaring.com so you have to enter your domain name the full domain name okay like this then click on continue now you will see this kind of window verify domain ownership by dns records so this is the domain name which i am using and if you are using godaddy you can directly select the godaddy option and then click on start verification but if you are using uh, some other domain service provider in that case click on this option any dns provider now in this option select record type change it to c name now so these are the two records these are the two c name records uh, you have to create in your godaddy record section i will show you how to do it open your godaddy website so this is a domain name click on this option dns now you have to add some dns records i will show you how to do it select the dns records option then click on this option add record now here you will see this uh, kind of option in the type section select c name now in the name column copy the first address copy and then paste it here like this now in the value section copy the second record and paste it here like this just click on save updating dns records wait for a few seconds and you can see successfully done after that refresh your godaddy website and now here you can see this is the record which i created c name record one important thing if you already have a c name record or if you see any kind of c name record in the dns record section simply delete that cns uh, c name record by tick the option then click on delete so this will delete the previous c name records you have in the dns column now after adding the c name record click on verify so this will verify your ownership and here you can see the option ownership verified successfully click on done that's it now cut this window okay in the 
Google Sites option. Click on Cancel and do the same thing again. Click on this Settings icon, then click on Custom Domain. Click on this option. Start. Now enter the domain name again. And now you can see the blue tick. So the verification, the owner verification has been completed successfully. You can see the blue tick here. Click on next. Now here, uh, you have to add one more CNAME record. Okay. In the DNS records of GoDaddy, I will show you how to do it. So first copy this www. Open GoDaddy. Now here uh, you have to add one more CNAME record. So click on this option, add new record in the type section, select CNAME in the name section, paste that www. Okay. In the value section, copy this address till dot. Okay. Copy the complete address, copy and paste it, the, uh, paste it in the value section like this. After that, click on save. Updating DNS records. Wait for a few seconds and here you can see successfully done. After that, refresh this page. This is important. Always the, of, always refresh the page after adding any kind of a record in the DNS column. So the record has been added successfully. Now here, click on done. And you can see the domain name has been connected with Google Sites. You can see here. Okay. Now cut this window. Refresh your Google Sites page. Now click on this option. And here you can see my new custom domain has been added. Okay. Now if I check uh, the new custom domain. So the domain name is not live yet. So you have to wait for three to four hours. Uh, so I will fast forward this video. So after waiting for 15 to 20 minutes, now my domain name is working fine. As you can see, I will show you again. So this is my domain name. Okay. I will copy this and I will paste it here. Okay. And here you can see this, the domain name is working fine. So this is how you can connect your Google sites with a custom domain. Now, after that, you have to do some, uh, some more thing. I will show you, uh, open the GoDaddy website. Now here, this is the domain name, which I'm right now using. Okay. Now you will see an option here forwarding. Click on this option. Now you will see the option here domain. Click on add forwarding. Now copy the complete URL www.healthyandcaring.com. Copy this complete URL and paste it in the destination URL. Okay. Like this. So the point is if someone is using my domain name without www, this option will forward that URL to the main URL with www healthyandcaring.com after that click on save and you can see successfully done refresh this page again so domain forwarding is also done so this is how you can connect google sites with any custom domain this is all for the video thank you